an object of weight uh, 449 newtons suspended by two strings which are 30 degree and 70 degree to the vertical as shown below. The object is in equilibrium. Okay, good. So calculate the tension in each string. Okay, in each string. So now, uh, let's first first of all let's draw a free boy diagram. Free boy diagram. Okay, first of all we draw the x the x axis first. X axis. Okay, this is the x axis, and this is the y axis. Okay, we got the x axis and y axis. Now draw the uh, point point at the center as a point mass okay we treat the the whole body as only one point okay a point mass a dot only just a dot now what forces okay identify what forces experienced by this block okay what are the forces experienced by this block it has the weight isn't it it has a weight so the weight must go downward uh, so draw the weight go downward uh, the weight go downward. Uh, this is the weight, which is uh, 49 Newton. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, what else of force? Uh, is it in contact with any surface? Yeah. Is it on any table or ground? No, it is hanging by two strings, isn't it? So not in contact with any surface. So no normal force. Yeah, no normal force. Uh, but it is uh, connected with a uh, two string, right? It say mentioned two strings. That means it must have tension. Okay, just now we have weight. Now we have connected by two string means we have tension. Uh, tension, tension always away from object. Tension only pulls. You understand? Tension only pulls. Uh, it never push. Huh? String never push an object. It only pulls. Uh, so string only pulls and always away from object uh, away from object so this is the tension uh, tension okay uh, draw it perfectly ah uh, this is the tension okay uh, tension here okay do we write t and t is it correct t and t wrong they have different tension this uh, this tension and this tension they have different value. You cannot just put T and T. You must put T1, T1, T2. Uh, because they have different tension. Different string, you understand? When uh, different string, you have different tension. Different string, different tension. Okay, so, uh, so this object is in equilibrium. Uh, equilibrium, so this is important. In equilibrium, okay. So how how to do these questions? Huh? Equilibrium. What does it mean by this equilibrium? Uh, what does it mean by equilibrium? Equilibrium means uh, the total force equal to zero. Uh, then the resultant force equal to zero, and there are two things out of this uh, equilibrium. That means the total F X must equal to zero. Yeah? The resultant in X component is zero. Resultant in Y component is also zero. Okay, uh, resultant x is zero, resultant force in resultant force is zero, equilibrium resultant force is zero, so resultant force in x component is zero, resultant force in y component also zero. Now calculate the tension. The question asks for tension in each string. That means we want to find T1 uh, and T2. Uh, we need to find T1 and T2. Uh, direction already given you see have angle 30 degree and 70 degree so no need to find the direction because direction already given we just want the magnitude of the each tension okay so let's begin uh, so how do we going to do these questions um, uh, this, uh, you can actually uh, you don't want to draw table or don't want to draw table also can because um, uh, we just apply this formula yeah we just apply this formula uh, total fx equal to 0, total fy equal to 0. Uh, so first of all, let's resolve the forces. Uh, resolve the forces uh, like T1 and T2, you need to resolve this vector because uh, it is not totally in the x and y component. Uh, or we can, in other words, we can say T1 and T2 both, T1 and T2 both uh, have x and y component. They have two components. Each of them have two components. Uh, T1 got X component and Y component. T2 also got X component and Y component. You need to resolve them first. Okay? So, resolve them. Uh, resolve them. Uh, this is the T1. Uh, uh, 
uh, this is the T2. Uh, okay? Uh, uh, no, no. This is the T1X. This is the T1Y. And remember, uh, the direction also going, going to the right positive, going left negative, going up is positive, going down is negative. And uh, remember this, uh, remember this uh, sign convention. Remember this sign convention. Uh, remember the sign convention I told you. Uh, what which one is positive or negative? Uh, for for equilibrium, Newton first law. Okay, for equilibrium, uh, new, uh, for Newton first law, uh, equilibrium. Uh, yeah, where this one total f uh, equal to zero, total f x equal to zero, total f y equal to zero. Uh, we follow this uh, this sign convention. Okay, we follow this sign convention. Uh, going to the right positive, going to the left negative, going up positive, going downward negative. Uh, only when we go to the Newton's second law, uh, we have uh, total F equal to MA. Uh, they won't follow acceleration and opposite acceleration. Uh, they won't have to refer to acceleration. But this one, we don't have acceleration. Acceleration equal to zero. Uh, we just take uh, go direction going up to the right positive, to the left negative, going up positive, going down negative. Uh, we just take this uh, sign convention. Okay? So that's why I fix a uh, direction to the right positive, left negative, upward positive, downward negative. Okay. So uh, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, okay. Resolve the vector. Uh, here we have. Um, okay. Let let me see. Yeah. So here we have. Uh, uh, go here going to the left. Uh, going to the left should be. Uh, we put as negative. Uh, negative. Uh, T one. Okay, this one is uh this okay this this uh this force is uh you see the angle is is with y component you see that the angle is with y component so this one uh this one should put what should put uh this one is actually opposite to the angle uh this this component is opposite to angle so this one should use sine sine thirty uh understand that. Uh, negative to the right, to the left uh, t1 sine because it is opposite to the angle t1 sine 30 and how about the y component y component is going up so going up is a uh, positive positive and then t1 uh, this one component is adjacent to angle adjacent to angle so uh, it's cos 30 so we put as uh, t1 uh, cos 30 ah okay T1 cos 30. Now, how about the T2? T2 also has two components. Uh, it also has two components. It has the X component going to the right. It also has the Y component going upward. Uh, okay? Okay. So, now let's uh, find out. For T2, the X component, the X component is actually opposite to the angle. You see the 70 degree. The 70 degree is actually... Uh, uh, with y component with y component so the x component is actually opposite uh, opposite so we can say this is a uh, uh, this going to the right going to the right is positive uh, t2 uh, it is the this component is opposite to the angle so it is a uh, sine 70 uh, sine 70 now how about the y component y component is adjacent to angle because the 70 degree is with y component the 70 degree is with y component so this uh, y component is adjacent to 70 degree. Huh? Can you see the 70 degree? Ah, uh, uh, sorry, concealed already. Yeah? Sorry, uh, sorry that concealed a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the 70 degree is with y component. Okay, if we y component, so y component is adjacent to 70. Uh, so it, the y component is going up. Going up is positive. Uh, positive T2. This is P2. Uh, adjacent to 70 adjacent to 70 is using cos 70 uh, okay so this is the y component for t2 so we already have all the components in x component and y component now we can do we no need to draw table actually yeah if we understand the concept already uh, so we know that uh, total fx yeah find out the total fx first total fx is what total fx so in x, comp x component what can we see in S component, we have uh, only two. We have uh, this T2 sine 70 and negative T1 sine 30. So total up these two. Total up these two, we have, um, you know, uh, we have a negative, 
Okay, we have a negative T1 sine 30. Okay, uh, and then plus the plus the T2 uh, sine 70. Ah, okay, equal to zero. Ah, remember? Because the resultant force, equilibrium, equilibrium is resultant force equal to zero. Ah, uh, resultant force Fx is equal to zero. Ah, uh, now we have one, one equation already here. We have one equation. Now, we cannot, we still cannot solve yet. Because we need to find the T1 and T2. We have two unknowns. You see, we have two unknowns. We need the second equation to solve it. Yeah, we need the second equations. So the second equation is uh, total Fy equal to okay. So total Fy, Fy we have what component? We have uh, T1 cos 30, positive T1 cos 30. We have positive T2 cos 70. We have uh, 49. 49 Newton. You put, need to put negative because it's going downward. Uh, so we have three components here. We have three components here. Yeah. So dress just. Write all three components down. Yeah, total up all the three components in y component. Yeah, in y axis. Okay, total up all the three three components in y axis. So which is the uh, positive t one uh, cos thirty, and then uh, positive uh, just not this. Okay, uh, positive uh, t two uh, cos seventy. Okay. And then what else we have? We have, ah, you see, positive. This one is negative because going down, going down, you need to put negative sign. Follow this sign convention, you understand or not? Going up positive, going down negative. Ah, so, uh, this one you need to put negative. This one is uh, negative. Eh? So, um, uh, this one is uh, negative. Uh, negative. Yeah? Negative uh, 49. Uh, negative 49. Just don't forget the negative. Yeah, remember all this. Uh, this one is negative also. Uh, see? Here, the negative sign, you don't forget to put. Uh, negative sign. Because the direction, this one is to the left. This one is downward. Uh, to the left is negative. Downward also negative. Okay. So, total them up. We got zero back. Uh, because uh, equilibrium, equilibrium, total Fy also equal to zero. Uh, total Fy also equal to 0. Uh, so we got two equations already. You see now? We got uh, two equations. We have uh, two unknowns. T1 and T2. T1 and T2. So with the help of two equations, we can do simultaneous equation. Uh, simultaneous equation, we can find the two unknowns. Because we have two equations already. Two equations can find two unknowns. Okay. Uh, but we need, to, we need to simplify the equation first. Okay, simplify the equation first. So, uh, so uh, maybe let me just put an arrows here, down here. So, this, uh, the first equation is, uh, we can put as T2 uh, sine 70 equal to uh, T1 sine 30. Yeah, that means this one just go to the other side. Understand? Go to the other side, become positive, uh, become this one. So we have uh, T2 uh, equal to T1 sine 30. Okay, T1 sine 30 and then uh, over sine 70. Ah, so we can do by substitution. So we have here we have equation 1. Uh, here we have equation 1, equation 1. Okay, now the equation 2, uh, this one. Okay, this equation one, uh, we put this as an uh, equation, um, yeah, and then this one, yeah, this one becomes what? This one becomes, uh, this one becomes uh, T1 cos 30 plus T2 cos 70 equal to 49 is a negative, go to the other side, become a positive value, positive value. So this is the equation two, all right, equation two. Uh, so substitute the equation 1 into equation 2. Uh, substitute into equation 2. So equation 2 it becomes uh, equation 2 it becomes so this is uh, still T1 cos 30 and T2 I substitute with uh, T1 sine 30 over sine 70 okay and then oh, uh, times cos 70 from the main equation so we have cos 70 here. Uh, what is this? Yeah. Uh, and then equal to uh, 49. Ah, okay. 
I just substitute this uh, this whole thing into T2. I just substitute into T2 and I get this and I get this. So here I can solve for T1. I can find T1. Let's calculate the T1 equal to. Okay, remember I need to factorize uh, this part. Uh. Remember I need to factorize uh, the T1 and T2. I factor out yeah, and then I add up together and divide. Uh, uh, and at last, this is the answer I got. Uh, this is the answer I got. T1 is equal to 46.76 uh, Newton. Okay, now I got the T1 already. I just substitute back into... I just substitute back into equation 1. So equation 1 will get me uh, the T2. T2 equal to, uh, this is, uh, T1 is 46.76, which I calculated earlier. Uh, sine times times 30 over sine 70. Um, so it is equal to, uh, let me calculate. Okay, so the answer I got is uh, 24.88 Newton, 24.88 Newton. So that's the T2. So is the answer correct? Is the answer correct? Uh, yes, T1 is 46.8. T1 is 46.8, which is 46.76 Newton. Correct. Okay, it is correct. And then about the T2 is 24.9. 20, uh, yeah, T2 is 24.9, 24.88 Newton. Correct. Uh, so that's the uh, T1 I got. Okay, T1 I got 46.76. So uh, this is the value. Uh, this is the value. Yeah, T1 I got what? T1 I got 46.76. So uh, this is the T1 46.76 Newton. Yeah. Uh, 46.76 Newton need to put the unit uh. don't forget the unit uh. the unit is very important uh. Uh, Newton and also the T2 is uh, 24.88 24 24.88 Newton uh, this is the 24.88 Newton okay uh, so with this T1 T2 and the weight yeah 46.76 24.88 49 uh, this object is in equilibrium uh, yeah, equilibrium not moving. Uh, the total force equal to zero. Yeah, the total force equal to zero. Total force equal to zero. Fx zero. Fy also zero. Okay, that's about equilibrium. Newton first law.